Hi there, I'm Adam Brown. Welcome to this video about making welcome videos. I'm a lecturer in media at Deakin University and I've been putting together videos now for the past three years for teaching purposes. What you just saw at the start there was the opening moments of a video I made back in 2013 for a second year unit. And I've also made a welcome video several years ago for a trimester three unit or one that's taught over summer. And I'll use parts of that as we go through. What I wanted to do here is really re reflect on some of the benefits I've found in making welcome videos. Firstly, welcome videos are a really handy way to reach pretty much everyone in the unit. And this is particularly the case if you've ever felt that your unit guide is not read fully or very carefully. But perhaps most importantly, welcome videos are one strategy for making a personal connection with students. And this is especially important for off-campus students, for whom we know that studying online can be a very lonely experience. Hi everyone, welcome to ALC 101, Contemporary Communication, Making Sense of Text, Image and Meaning. I'm Adam Brown and I'll be your unit chair for this trimester and this is a quick welcome video to introduce you to the unit and the teaching staff. First up I'd like to introduce you to Jessie Wilkie who's the primary tutor, marker and your first point of contact throughout the trimester. Last year I actually had an off-campus student come up to me after her graduation ceremony and have a chat because she recognised me from YouTube. Without being on screen, I would possibly be for that student just another anonymous name or static profile picture that's attached to Cloud Deacon or an email address. And really, how many of those pictures do you remember? Although I will admit that a number of students have openly admitted that my dog is the real reason they watch my videos. Welcome videos can give some insight into a unit by providing a brief overview of its content, delivery and structure. ALC 101 covers a lot of ground, focusing on a diverse range of topics. The unit is structured into three modules. Module 1 is People as Texts. We look at nonverbal communication, gender and communication, and organisational or professional communication, communication in the workplace. Module 2 looks at communication tools which help us understand the process or processes of meaning making. We look at narrative theory and semiotic theory there. Module 3 looks at the business of persuasion. We look at advertising, consumption and identity, film and ideology, and audiences and the mass media. Welcome videos can also kickstart some ideas for students by providing a few examples, and also encourage them to relate the unit's subject matter to their own lives. What I strongly encourage you to do throughout this trimester is to reflect on your experiences in your everyday lives and relate them to the subject matter that we engage with on a weekly basis. This is where a lot of the really interesting content and discussion of the unit comes from. In terms of nonverbal communication, have a look at what you're wearing today. What we wear says a lot about how we try to construct our identities for other people around us. In terms of gender, I remember back last year when I went to Dreamworld, a theme park on the Gold Coast, and in one of the stores there was two baskets of lucky dips, one for boys and one for girls. What does this suggest about gendered ideas in society? What might we expect those lucky dips to have for each of the sexes? And in terms of workplace communication, when you're going through the shops this summer, have a really close look at how consumers and employees are interacting with each other. What are the codes and conventions they're following or not following when they communicate? These videos can also highlight some important information about assessment. Very detailed instructions and full examples will be provided online, so make sure you keep an eye on the Cloud Deacon site. The initial exercises are designed using a scaffolding approach, which enable you to develop the crucial skills that will allow you to put together a very effective and persuasive essay. As always, never leave work until the last minute. Rushed assignments are very obvious and seldom successful. By adopting a personable approach via video, you can make some sensitive and calculated, but also fairly upfront appeals to students regarding your expectations of them, while also giving them some advice about how to succeed in the weeks ahead. 
Another issue I wanted to talk briefly about here is that of motivation and commitment to study. And this is particularly important to be aware of in relation to trimester three, as I've seen over several years experience of teaching over summer. Be sure to set at least one or two periods of time a week aside just for this unit to make sure you stay on track with the assessment and the unit content. I've seen far too many students get tangled up in the activities and opportunities that summer offers. So use the online discussion forums not only to engage with and learn from one another, but also to keep in touch with the unit. Studying online can be a lonely and isolated activity, but only if you let it become one. The other thing I really like about making videos is their recyclability. By not using any really specific information such as dates, I've been able to use the same welcome videos for three years and two years in different units. The other huge advantage I find with making videos is being able to edit. And unlike when you're in a lecture or seminar when it's hard to even realise, much less backtrack when you say something wrong or badly, you've got plenty of time to change things when you stuff up, when you screw up, when you mess up. And you've already seen the editing between lines that I do, given that I don't like reading or speaking from notes. When making a video, you've got ample opportunity to reshoot or edit around your mistakes. I will be <laughs> I will I will be available to be contacted over. Hi everyone, welcome to ALC 101, Contemporary Communication, Making Sense of Text, Image and Meaning. I'm Adam Brown, I'm your unit chair for this trimester. And I have no idea what I'm going to say. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to ALC 101, Contemporary Communication. Oh, I've got to get my enunciation right. For now, I'll leave you in Jesse's very capable hands. <laughs> I don't remember Jeff, I don't remember. Welcome videos don't need to be fancy. Speaking to a webcam for five minutes might be more than enough to cover what's needed. And the nature of a video and its content may largely be determined by the unit that it's for. But the accessible nature and often very low cost of contemporary digital media technologies means that you could do a lot with little time and effort. And of course we've got some great resources and assistance available at Deakin through the Cloudmobile and other staff working in learning enhancement. Sitting in front of a camera can be daunting, particularly at first, and I know this from experience. And it might not even be essential for you to be on camera at all, though I'd recommend that you be on screen yourself for at least part of your video for some of the reasons mentioned earlier. To sum it all up, I think welcome videos are really valuable. But in case you don't want to just take my word for it, I asked some second year students what their views were. And given that it's after all their perspective that's most important, I'll share their thoughts here. I liked how it sort of made me feel a bit more relaxed. Obviously the, the, the vibe in the video was really fun and, and exciting, so it sort of made me a bit more relaxed when I could see the person talking was sort of carefree and, and relaxed in the video. So I think it was, it got me excited. Well, I like introductory videos because they are like the introduction to an essay. It gives you an idea, an overview of the unit as a whole and an idea of what to expect as you go through and also a little bit of a preview of the chemistry you're going to have with the teacher. But yeah, I know, I just liked how engaging it was. It was exciting, it was fun, it, got, it made me feel the same way as well. So on the first day um, in, at uni it wasn't so daunting, I wasn't nervous because I knew what to, what to expect. Well, I think the first thing about having an introduction video is the fact that it kind of takes the edge off the subject. It makes it a little cooler and a little bo bit more laid back as opposed to most units which are all about, you know, facts and readings and all that. So I think, I think it's a good thing to have an introduction video mainly because it reaches out to the students more from a student's perspective and it kind of warms you up to the unit all in all, so I think it's a good thing. And as you saw there, if nothing else, making videos is one legitimate way of asking students to stand outside in the wind and rain without them being able to complain about it. Plus you can make things magically appear on the screen and never have to explain why. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this useful. Good luck! <laughs>